Awesome. So exciting. No screwdrivers on the glass. That's not good. <laughs> One time, two. Give her a little pinch. Trash. Take my breath up. Bob Ross. She's <laughs> fancy. We tried every other option. Shirley. <laughs> we need these. Getting it done. He's fine. His mouth <laughs> on you. It'd be fine. Get in there. He about to get it. Two ton Tammy. Get in there. Jiggle sock. Oh, 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 oh. Baby. Look at his teeth. Ow. Whoop. Passes the wiggle test. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> like, I got this one. Thrifty white. I'll struggle through. He's an idiot. My mama told me. <laughs> Surely don't want to work on it anymore. Are Holy you God. kidding me? Awesome. <laughs> Bad day. Poor baby. <laughs> Squatty ranger. <laughs> oh my. Get this one, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Nine, two, five. Picture show. Whoop, whoop. Rise up. Now we're both thinking it's just send her through the roof. Real cozy. Stop. Whoop, whoop. Guarantee. That was my toe. Yeah. Okay. You what? Oh, God. Oh, look. Blame yeah. it on a mission. Oh. Every time. It was an accident. Wow. Oh. Cut this before mom gets back. <laughs> whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Mail bender 9,000. Good. Never, never land. <laughs> For nine days now. Put her in overdrive. Come in. <laughs> it's okay. I'm trying to hold my hand. There's a hole in the bottom. You're just trying to kill me. No! I'll feed ya. Here. Yay. Poop shoot hose. I'll feed you good, dude. I'll see you. And Locked oh, and loaded. Don't tell nobody. Oh, yeah. Hi. Most romantic thing I can think of. Whoa, <laughs> squeeze. Doot, 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 doot. <laughs> we're having a baby. We're rested and rejuvenated. <laughs> and we're going to change the look of the inside of this motorhome today. Yes. I feel it in my bones. Woo -hoo. In the jellies? Yes. Let's get to it. Mom's kicking it in high gear today. We're going to get this mess done. You just take the wheel. There's a finger. All right. Oh, my God. Wow, <laughs> is cutting her out. What now? She's nervous about it. Awesome. I guess we should probably install our windows for good on this side. Oh my goodness, it's so exciting. Is that way uh, it'll hold all this together? Yeah. I'm going to clean all this old sealer off they put around these windows. A lot of times these RVs, I've noticed that people start having leaks and instead of taking the window out and fixing it right, they just goop a bunch of sealer up on the outside. What are you doing, please? No, no, no. Screwdriver. No screwdrivers on the glass. So a lot of times the window frames will be really gooped up with sealer. We're going to get all this junk off here. You can see they use like a foam on the inside. we got some new sealer from Rec Pro. We're going to use to seal these things up. Look how dried up. Hey. This is what was supposed to be Real sealing beans. the windows. Brittle beans. I cut all the foam off here with a razor blade, and there's still some junk. I'm spraying it with brake cleaner and using a wire brush, and it seems to be taking off really nicely. Because we need these to seal up, or all of our work is in vain. Right, Squeezel? Yes. Yeah. Well, you guys are getting it put up here. Yeah. Very good. Wow. This is actually a really difficult thing to do. I know, right? So what we're using to seal our windows up is this ASI 335 window and door sealant. It's supposed to be good for this. And I'm gonna start at the bottom here and make a nice fatty bead all the way around this thing. You got good beads. Thank you. I didn't know if this day would ever come putting the windows back in. I know, it feels, the like, last a, time. feels like a big moment, doesn't it? Does. It? Of course we're starting with a little one because we're scared. Yeah, that's gonna work out nice there. Look at that, we got a little porthole behind our sink now. That's gonna be awesome. I'm excited, yay! Yeah, <laughs> finally getting the windows in. It feels like it's, we're finally doing this. Exactly. Like, we're gonna try to run our wiring and stuff up through these tracks for our back. Time for a bigger window. Now I'm gonna have to goop this one up more because if you look up there, it was wrecked in that corner. And it's really wavy in the corner. 
Oh, that not good. So we got a couple of screw holes here that are stripped out. So I'm gonna have to drill next to them. There's a track on the inside part the whole way down. So anywhere you drill a hole where that track is at, you have threads behind there. There you go. If you don't have a good thread there, just move over a little bit. This thing slides. Look at that, how fancy that is. So I need to make like a five inch wide piece to go in that cabinet hole there, Ralphie. I measured it and it's 67 and three quarters long. Then I've got to make a panel for the back of the motorhome. So I measured that back window opening, it's 67 and three quarter. So if I go ahead and cut the paneling for the back wall, the cutout window opening will be the right length to cut above those windows on the wall. Wow. So, hey, we're saving materials. All right, Wawa, I just need you to mark the window hole. God, oh, this thing is big. Brownies, come here, give me one. They're hot. They're really hot. All right, Wawa, go ahead and mark my window out. <laughs> That's love, guys. Brownies. You're such a good little worker. What are you doing? She definitely will fall. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Dad, you bad monkey. Love Wawa. We're gonna try to use as many of our scrap pieces as we can. Try to make the most of this. Waste not wonton. My like grandma always said. What? No. Oh, uh, I'm gonna the wonton. Oh, maybe I'm just hungry. Wonton too. Just like it never even happened. We'll let the cabinets hold that in. Let's get this back window in, I guess. Here's another thing you can do to help your threads. The places where the screws used to be, give it a little pinch, you know? And that way, it tightens those threads up. So, we're frugal, and we're trying to clean these old rusty screws and make them look a little bit better so that they don't look like trash. Frugal, what are you, bad daddy bratty? Hey. He uses that word all the time. You gotta stay where you can. Come on. One nice thing about this sealant is that it doesn't stink like silicone. It has no odor at all. Silicone is like super strong smelling. Oh, it'd be, we'd be stunk out. Excuse me, stunk out? Is that what you Yeah, we stunk out. It takes your breath away. Take my breath away. I can't hear you for how well insulated this thing is. What? <laughs> so this window actually has a pull tab where you can pull the back window out if you're on fire like Ricky Bobby or something. Yeah, that definitely seems to help to squeeze the flames together. We're not having any of them round off like we have with the other side. What do you got on your finger squeeze? Don't know, but one of those clamps. She has a pex clamp on her finger. I'll put it on my you finger. Finger. Don't hurt and you want me to crimp it for you? Oh, oh sure. I'll put it on my finger and all it's fine. I'll... Oh my god. Squeeze it. Uh, now get it off there. Oh me. Girl, you gotta quit. It was at this point we realized that we were a couple pieces short. We need some more brackets. Some more It was at this point we realized that we were a couple pieces short. We need some more brackets and a little bit more lumber to do what we're going to do. So we made another lengthy Lowe's list and we're back. So five out of five days we've been going to Lowe's now. And it is definitely not on purpose. I do not like going there. This should have been sponsored by Lowe's. Should have. Yeah, hit me up Lowe's. We got Janet back here and we have Bob Ross and we're headed to Lowe's. Well, you've done it again. Oh my gosh. I hope this is one of the last trips. Oh Y'all so always try to talk me into going out to eat. You guys talk me into everything. Just anything and everything. Look at the flooring for the bathroom. Mom thought you would like it. This is what we picked for the bathroom. You know, we already got the gray kind of paneling on the sides. The cabinets are going to be white. The floor is going to be a gray kind of fake hardwood, and that's going to be both yeah. colors. Oh, yeah, she's fancy. <laughs> These are the main things really needed. I got a bunch of brackets like this. 
We got latches and hinges for everything. Also, finally found a plumbing fix for this. I don't know why, but that pipe was smaller than one inch and this one was one inch. So we had to get a fitting like this to connect the two. Believe me, we tried every other option. We did. That's gonna be what works. So I'll probably fix my plumbing real quick and then we will start building the cabinets up here. So Squeezel is taking our three quarter inch sharp point panhead screws that we're gonna attach our insulation and paneling to the roof with. And she is putting them in cardboard and gonna spray the head of them white to match our ceiling. We got wall wall outside cutting insulation for the roof. Mom's getting the bathroom door cleaned and painted, I'm assuming. Yeah. This little slip-on deal, as you tighten down, that rubber will grab this, even though it's slightly smaller than one inch. That ring goes around there like that. And when we tighten this up, should seal that up. Hopefully we have a connection between our sink and our gray water tank. Is it gonna work? Yes. Surely, surely. So I'm gonna go ahead and split my water out to my sink and over to my toilet. We're gonna put a T in here and then we're gonna adapt it to a half inch pipe fitting so we can screw this faucet hose on here. I could probably go straight with PEX, but I really wanted something a little more flexible. Now let's split it off to our toilet. Hey then, good job. We're gonna have a little bit of leftover. <laughs> you think? It'll go underneath our refrigerator base here and through that wall over there. We'll finish that when we put in our paneling for the inside of our wall. So I'm going about it a little bit different on how I'm building these. These I put like one piece up at a time and try to put it together. I'm gonna try to build boxes or rectangles. So I'm gonna build a box for the back wall and then build a box for the front and then we'll make our supports in between after that. Try to build all this in the floor and then put it up there. I think that'll be quicker. And just so you guys know, my belly button's 43 inches off the ground. It's really essential thing you need to know in life. Keep it flat with the board, pull the trigger. Go real slow and you'll see when it starts cutting. Good job, sir. First time using a skill saw, huh? Yeah. Who, did, who didn't know, right? Come on. Oh, we need these. We need these for construction. I feel like we have these inside as well. Yeah. I haven't even test fit this. I'm just going for it on this one. So these are inch and a half staples. So these are on 16 inch centers here. Oh God. One of your bangs, isn't it? Yeah. That is gonna go right there, which is gonna put it like a half inch above our window. And I'll screw it in through here, right into the metal. And then we're gonna build one that's a little bit taller. It's probably gonna go all the way against the ceiling and I'm gonna have to cut it and notch it for that right there. It's a little ladder for you, Ralphie. You wash windows, maybe? Don't you step on that. <laughs> Ready? I know, it's light, isn't it? That's why we built it that way. At least we have something super solid to attach that yeah. with. Yeah. Getting it done. Trying to. There you go. Will we staple it up or what? We'll screw it to the roof. That right there is, is 16 inches out. Lay a sit. Good job, Wawa. You're a good little insulator. I'm getting hot in here. He's <laughs> fine. <laughs> we still gotta put the paneling up before we final install this, but I wanna test fit this, figure out the length of all our crossbars. We yep. can still hopefully sit down without knocking our heads off. I feel like it needs to be deeper like that to have more Yep, we need all the storage we can get. We do need a lot of storage, yes. But we are going to call it a night. It is already after 8 o'clock, which is overtime. Jeopardy. We need to watch Jeopardy. Yeah, you ain't lying, girl. I really hope we got farther today. This is the end of day five. Lowe's trips have severely cut into our timeline. Hopefully we can get these cabinets built tomorrow. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We're beat. You going to check it out? Well, we're back. It's the next day. We're getting a very late start because we had to do stuff with moving vehicles and stuff like that for this whole building process. It's hopefully about to start soon. Rocky, thank you for helping today. What are you gonna work on? Floor. That's not helpful, Rocky. No, you can't eat screws. Come on, Rocky. Louise is gonna kick him out. Work with hey, us, not against don't us. Don't eat my screws. No, no, you can't screw it. Yeah. So I need to put a lock right here. Probably close. Yeah. 
close to this side. We're gonna have to run some wires through this insulation and put us a lot out here in the middle. So we have like a living room, kitchen area, a lot in the back. So I'm gonna have to knot this foam right here and run a wire through it. These lights only pull like a tenth of an amp or something. So you don't have to have a big, thick bar to do this. You should be able to pull that little strip out. That'll give us room. Get down. You are gonna get it. So I bought this wire specifically for this like probably a year ago. It's already pre-wired with the red and black. It's like, I don't know, 20 gauge or something. It's not very thick at all. You're on my shoe, boy. I'm just gonna duct tape it up here and leave us a little wire stub. Ah, that's my foot. Ow, 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 Rocky. Quit. He don't mind to wipe his mouth on you. <laughs> he don't care if he stomps your feet. He don't care about nothing. No partial over. space, huh? No, he don't care what happens to you. If you've ever tore an RV apart, this is how they do it from the factory. So there you go. It's secured. We'll just watch and make sure we don't put any screws or anything in where that is. My measurements say this is where the light's going to be. <laughs> it's got to be right. right. <laughs> okay. So we're trying to use as minimal screws as possible and I'm actually measuring out where they're supposed to be. So we're putting them a foot apart. We're gonna have cabinets that are gonna hold it up around the edges. So we're just putting them out in the middle where it has nothing else. And these are out three quarter inch sharp point screws so they won't go up to our roof. Let's put our lights in here we got. So LEDs, we're gonna use these double ones on the big areas like this. We also got some single ones that some fans set us. We're probably gonna use in the smaller areas. So this came with little wire nuts. You know the deal, black to black, usually. I love these LED ones because they just don't pull many amps or anything. You don't really have to worry about killing your battery. I think you're a little stuck there. I think I am. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. It's very stuck. Hey, got it. There you go, Miss Fancy. Got like some eyes. Very nice. If I wire it up right, it should work. Part numbers for everything are in the description. Hold that up in the corner you got. No. You gonna fit? Apparently this motorhome isn't square. Who built this? Who would have ever thunk it? About a quarter of an inch I gotta trim off that. Hey, how's this? Somebody must have put that metal beam in crooked or something. <laughs> she did that. Is that you? Yeah. Oh. Me. Ralphie loves this nailer. It scares me to death. <laughs> how fancy this is kids oh my wow. goodness we're, we're getting this cabinet thing figured out it took us so much longer to make the ones down there <laughs> right like that right there awesome hey did that go through the roof i know you and your mother said the same thing no hey we're oh, paranoid wow. we're paranoid about that right by the rapid. i don't hold this up i hope hopefully pretty thick steel beam back there we also countersunk some holes. We're gonna put some two inch screws this way to support it too. This thing feels super solid now. I feel like I need to build this cabinet over here now. That way I know what our width is here. I really don't feel comfortable building this and then building that too. I'd rather do it the opposite way. In order to do that, I gotta put this piece of paneling up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this piece of paneling on this side. Well, in order to put the paneling up, I pretty much have to have this lower box built for our seat and our bed, because like this, we don't wanna waste paneling under here. It's gonna be all hidden. So I gotta start building this seat and bed down here, and then we can put the paneling up, and then we can put that up so we can put this up. Too many things to think about. The bottom was 100 inches, but the back wall is angled. So if we're level here, we're at 103 and a quarter for our top rail. You can't buy a one by two that's this long. So we had to buy a one by four and I cut it right down the center. Is everything scary? Ooh. All right, we got a bigger ladder. <laughs> Getting her cleaned up. Yeah, I'm trying to. I gotta remember not to build anything that won't fit through the door. Yes. 
We've done that before. But, now I've got all kinds of obstacles on the back. I wish I could just build another one of these and set it right down. We're gonna have to work around the wheel tub, those two beams, actually the top of that vent opening. We're gonna, we're gonna block that out though completely. We're gonna put plywood in that. But we had to have this at the same height because we're planning on sitting down our kitchen table here. So it's gotta be the same height as the other side. she decides to do something. I don't know, she just takes off, don't she? <laughs> so this is gonna be 22 inches wide. So I'm gonna kind of temporarily install this. I've decided to put the doorknob on. I mean, it's a little bit wider, but I think nobody will notice. It'd be fine. This is gonna be our back rail that our seat tops are gonna sit on. Get in there. You got it. I don't know if you do. What is the problem? Something like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. It's okay, duty. I'm gonna take that back strip off and we'll nail it from the other side. Every one of them is so scary. This is a truck. I thought it was an airplane. I thought it was your mama. Dad! He about to get it. <laughs> he about to get it. So we're adding in these L braces here underneath in case two ton Tammy comes to visit. Two ton Tammy? We won't, <laughs> she won't break through the bed, hopefully, here or the seat. I'm still going to build this right here. I think I'm gonna hold off for now, because this way, if I can screw it up to the wall, we know how big our paneling's gonna be. 67 and three quarters. Oh my gosh, it barely <laughs> comes in over that. We got more and more things in the way. Yeah. Come on now. Get in there. There you go. Look at you. Good job, Randy. Oh no. Time for the jiggle saw. Jiggle jiggle. Jiggle jiggle. Jiggle jiggle. There we go, Ralph. Wow. Look at us go. Time for more sealer. Hey, that one went in. Good job. We're about to run out of good usable screws. Because we had some broken ones when we took them out. Before we put any more windows, we're going to have to get some new screws. E. That's in there now, and that's gonna be it for tonight. We did pretty good for a half day. Yeah, I mean, great. You know, yeah, really tomorrow's a big day. It's gonna look a lot better tomorrow. Three rock stars tomorrow. Woo! All right, well, we will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Shoo wop. <laughs> it's morning. Oh, day seven. I didn't even think about it till this morning that we didn't even go to Lowe's yesterday. How incredible is that? All that money we saved. No explanation needed. Let's get started working. Are you gonna get in the chair with you? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how all of our goats like to get in the chairs. They love it. So this is gonna be the same depth as that side, 16 inches, but it's gonna be much shorter because our bed, we only have from our beam back here at the door, which is the end of our bed, five feet six inches to this edge so i can't even fit on that and hopefully wawa doesn't grow anymore the plan is this cabinet right here is going to stop right at the window edge i might see my fingers looks like our top rail for our cabinets 30 and three quarter To get me a new can of paint because all my paint was crunchy and so i'm going to paint the two by fours in there that are still look like wood mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a kind of small brush this was the only one that i had on hand so I'm just gonna have to work now you got an actual working brush yeah the cheapest one he could buy at lowe's <laughs> they don't even flinch with a nail gun, that's funny.
Child's Oh, is that Julie Child's voice? I think so. That's getting captioned. <laughs> if you don't quit zapping up on me, I'm going to knock you out. So I think I figured out how this actually goes now that my mind was rested and I didn't think about it. I think I might can install it now. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> do you feel accomplished? I do feel accomplished. It's like I'm helping. Good job. Yeah. Are you oh, yeah, we're just gonna, like, go to the bathroom with yeah. the door open? What do you think? Hi, Hi baby. Baby. <laughs> baby. Did you see his teeth? Yeah. <laughs> Look at his teeth. <laughs> Ow! Hey! Good job. It turns on both sides. Whoop! Is that Whoop! It's <laughs> so short. Hi, guys. Ow, 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 ow. That would, that would scare oh, oh, those back here. Oh, that hurt. We got these little brackets at Lowe's. It wasn't with the normal brackets. It was in those little pull-out drawers. And we got some little tiny half-inch long screws. We're hoping that it'll strengthen all this up, too. Did someone spill Kool-Aid on the wood? Her name is Wawa. Does she spill a drink every time we have a drink in her hand? Yeah. It passes the wiggle test. I think we're good. Yeah. Come on. Here you go. There you go. There's your brother. He's figured it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a cry, baby. Can we get it? <laughs> <laughs> it's still wrong. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. I promise. Once again, we had to pre-drill holes for this because it's going around to a steel beam. I believe this is our last cabinet thing we have to build. So we're gonna build a cabinet in between here. It's not gonna be 16 inches deep because you're gonna be walking in here and trying to sit down. So you don't wanna bang your head against this. This one, we're thinking we're gonna only do it out to like 12 inches. Hey, nice shirt. Does it get you on it? Yeah. Of course, of course <laughs> it's a nice shirt then, right? Yeah. And this is the point when I realized I don't have enough lumber. Da, da, da. To finish this, so this is all we have left aside from some little dinky pieces. Do we get to go back to Lowe's? Let's do some of the other things we can do. We'll have to end up going to Lowe's today. Okay. At least we skipped one day. <laughs> I think I have enough to make this back wall here, and we're also gonna have to make some supports here for our bed frame since we can't run this rail straight across to here because it's in our way. I think I'm gonna bring some two by threes out from here, screw them in the metal, and then put the rail out this way. You always wanna put your thumb close enough where if the nail comes out the side, you'll be the first to know it. So we have just enough to make it using pieces from the old cabinets. <laughs> I feel like we need another one here, though. You don't need the other one. You but, just put that plywood down. We'll see. I may put another brace in there. Oh, wow. That ain't moving. Ralphie's butt approved. Yes. Yeah. Ain't no way. Is that perfect? Know. You cut it perfect? Did way. you cut that left wall perfect, too? Yeah. Look at for you go. The first time in sure. forever. You always count on your brother. We're going to go ahead and put our flooring down, make sure we have enough of it. Because we don't want to make any more Lowe's trips if we don't have to. Good job, Steve. Find out together. <laughs> Come on, buddy. He's, Come too, up. he's too scared. So here's the flooring that Wafi chose. So it's a vinyl plank. It's waterproof. It has its own backer on it. It's called Slate Oak. <laughs> it's going to go pretty quick. <laughs> So these guys interlock with each other. It's kind of cool the way it works. It's supposed to have a four to five millimeter gap everywhere around the edge. You gotta make sure you have it turned the right way because one side, the grooves are opposite of each other so they lock in. Are you afraid of all loud noises? No, I just don't like loud noises. <laughs> there you go, we got a little bit of air gap. Give it room to expand and everything. You take your cut piece, you cut off that end, 
and that is what you start your next row with. That way all your joints don't line up. Don't, don't do that. This is the point where we ran out of flooring because we found out that our second box of flooring had a huge hunk knock out of it. I don't know what he's doing <laughs> at all. He has a spits often though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good though, doesn't it? It's great. It's looking nice. <laughs> this is literally my. Why don't we have this in the house? Well, we can't afford it. Since I don't want to go to Lowe's right now, I'm gonna put the flooring down in here, and we're gonna do everything else we can do, pretty much. Mama thinks we need to start here, so we have a nice, pretty, full piece right at the front. So this is just the fancy peel and stick kind. We are centering it up in the door frame at two and three quarters of an inch from each side. There's probably so many like house builder people right now, they're like, this is not the way to do it. It only works my way. It's never coming up, is it? No. <laughs> now I gotta cut every other piece because this is such a small room. This is why mom didn't do it herself. <laughs> you just kind of bend it where this cuts are. It just comes off real easy like that up there. And once we put paneling on the inside of this, it'll come right down to here and cover up the edge of our floor. Now this stuff, it is important that you have the floor really super clean. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? I've got to cut this one out around this big toilet ring. I, look, Ew. I got this one here that's been through some things in 50 years. <laughs> Ew. I would say. It's You're gonna... touching the pot threads. I got the poo on me. It's gonna be my pattern. Gross, this would this hands. would have been a good argument probably for putting the flooring down first, like you're talking about, right, honey? Oh, yeah. Cut it a little bit wide because the toilet's gonna cover it anyway. Here you go, Ralphie. Oh, good. I really want that there. Very good. Very good. Well, after me messing up one cut, we're actually short two pieces, so I guess my cut didn't matter, did it, really? So I gotta spend that extra dollar. So once again, dead in the water on flooring projects. Are you asleep up there? I'm not asleep. She did all this insulation. We haven't done these two because we gotta take those windows out, but we're almost completely insulated now. So that's really cool. Since we're out of flooring, I wanna move on to making the front bathroom wall here with our white paneling. Is that gonna be correct? Maybe. We found where he's made a bed. He must be sleeping over here by the parts washer. I thought you were mouse hunting. You were just sleeping the whole time? <laughs> It's the cheapest white paneling we could get. What is thrifty white? I told you it was cheap. Yeah. It's the cheap stuff. Like, it's cheapest thing I could get. Man, some of that stuff, I don't know if it's going to fit in here. No, it's okay. I'll get it by myself. It's, it's all right, guys. I'll struggle through. Look at that. I thought we had a door there. Yeah, we're going to. We got to cut it out. Oh, okay. Push at the top a little. Yeah, I'm pushing. He's an idiot. Hey, by the way, thanks for the lighting in here. It's great. No problem, bud. Are you done yet? No. Oh, you're writing junk is all you're doing. There you go. Woo woo! We got our first wall up. <laughs> Interior wall, I should say. Hey, Dave. What? You gonna get me something for dinner? Oh, of course. <laughs> Of course you want something for dinner. My mama done told me to get something for Dino. <laughs> you ever see that part of that cartoon? Yeah. Yes, the little bird. It? it was a baby vulture. Oh, yeah. He was after Bugs Bunny. The Looney Tunes. My mama done told me bring home something for dinner. 27 and several eights. These are on show as well, so we're gonna paint these. And be scared of everything. This leftover piece here was so close to being the right width, so that's really nice when you only have that much waste. Can I even fit this in there? That's what I was wondering about. Surely I can fit this some way. What if he did this? Like came over here. We're gonna get this, Ralphie. No matter how long it takes. This is just a tiny door. Give it the bows. We're going through the roof, literally. Oh, yeah. oh. And through the side, oh my lord. All right, we're twerking. All right, now you gotta get out of bathroom jail. All right, like a game of Twister. Woo! I don't know if that was gonna fit or not. Sweating it. Let's go the fire. I see the phone, though. 
I'm so over working on this motor home. I don't <laughs> want to work on it anymore. She's doing so good. It is not easy. Yeah, you know, it's hard like that toilet ain't in there yet. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't put the toilet in. There we go. It wasn't flexible. It would not, like a piece of plywood this big would not. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a light in here at some point, probably on this wall. And this is the biggest piece yet. This is the top. Are you wall. kidding me? How are we gonna get that in there? I don't know yet. You might have to cut her in half. I really can't make the other two walls until I get these nailed up because they're kind of in my way. So I'm gonna move on to the front of the cabinet now. 35 even. Yeah, this is your seat, that's your cabinet, and that's the base under your refrigerator. Okay. Which we won't nail it on permanent until we get our wiring and stuff done. But at least we'll have it ready. Yeah. It's finally coming together. Yes, it is. That's right there. It's gonna be the front of our- Awesome. Yeah, right there. That's exciting. We'll cut two rectangles out here. We're gonna make cabinet doors. Is it incredible? Is it blowing your mind? It looks fine. <laughs> We got bad daddy trying to take these screws out. That's bad, and... bad daddy Craig. <laughs> so he's gonna work on that and some other stuff inside. We're gonna go to Lowe's with our list and try to get this stuff. You be good, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna watch you on the cameras. Sixth trip to Lowe's. Maybe they take Dollar Gentle gift cards. I know, mama wouldn't let you in there today. Poor baby. <laughs> We're gonna go to Lowe's, you need anything? Okay. Every time, every time. Okay. I'm ready, I like school. Oh, man. <laughs> Ralphie, we got a squatty ranger over here. American I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks terrible, Ralphie. If it was lowered, it would look a lot better. I agree, thank you. Ranger alert. Ralphie keeps his eye on his rangers. We made them sit over there. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <In> the <table. laughs> I'm getting this one, Oh gosh. And we forgot our list at home. Okay. How let's, do we do that? Let's go wing it. We got these little white trim nails. Hopefully they won't stand out too much. Ralphie's gonna do the little trim nails for me. So we've been using this little block to lock this in. We'd actually forgot about this until we found it that we had one. It really helps to lock those in a lot better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got this little problem screw right here. I needs to go. Oh, gotta go. Ah! Yeah. It's a lot of sparks. Ah! Got it. Oh, he's melting into my foam. Get out of there. Um. <gasps> Would you just look at it? There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Great job. Okay, I'm Good done. job, Ralphie. So I'm putting these L brackets in here to help it with some support. I bought a bunch of those little L brackets for stuff like that. I'm trying to stiffen it up. If all else fails, we'll just keep paper products in this. Yeah. Ralphie's tired, and so are the rest of us. Getting closer. Like I said every day, I was hoping to have more done today. Things take longer than you think they're gonna take, that's for yeah. sure, in life. And cost more. That's how it is. Okay, well, we got the flooring. And the yeah, we got a lot of the flooring done. Mom and Wawa have done good with that. I promised these kids we were gonna have a fun day while they were off on spring break. Mm. So, tomorrow, we're gonna go and do some fun stuff. Because working is fun, but it ain't going to the picture show, is it? No. Mm. Exactly. Working nine to Two more days left to work on this. We'll see you guys day after tomorrow. Shoot. Up. After a day of rest, we're back. We went and did old timey things that old timey people do, like going to the mall, going to the picture show, and going to the skating ring. Things that children nowadays don't know what they are. Skating rink? Ring. Anyway, what? we're gonna get back on this thing. Whoop, whoop. So I'm heating up this tile because it's like 20 something degrees. We'll just freehand this one. There you go, Ralphie. I got it pretty good there, huh? Yeah. I'll never see this anyway, huh? Yeah. What is she doing? I measured it myself and I'm cutting it myself. We'll see if it fits. This thing's getting smaller and smaller every wall I put up. <laughs> 
This might not be the right way to do this, but this is how I'm doing it. I need to probably fasten that to the stud so it doesn't rise up like that. Rise up. And this will go to our toilet now. I forgot like five minutes later, I forgot she painted. No, like 30 seconds. And, and I you backed up into it. On the door what I'm hoodie is this? On a sleeper dude hoodie? Come on. It's mine. I forgot we painted the door. And no way. Did you do it too? <laughs> that's what, that's what you get for making fun of me. <laughs> for being a dingus. Oh, now so we're both dinguses. Dirty. We're both dinguses now. Ain't no way. You got it on your pants. We're all dinguses now. I know, my hair. Been I'm the biggest dingus. I think we got it. The reason this wall and the back wall have got screws instead of little nails is the shortest I can get them little nails is one inch and this wall is not one inch so we don't want to send her through the roof exactly these are three quarter inch screws we're cozy in here aren't we yeah real cozy just take it Stop. <laughs> this is the way to do it we were trying to put it in an angle and then we realized you just do this no, it's like build a phone booth isn't it Kids are like, what's a phone booth? Wow. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. I don't know how you did that, actually. It fits. Whoop, whoop. Oh, we didn't doubt you. <laughs> totally. <laughs> so I was able to make all the inside pieces out of this door frame out of the old door. You know, it probably looked better made in one piece, but then we would have wasted a whole lot doing just this little lip around here. And it's on the inside. Come on, only we'll see it. We won't even show you guys. Yeah. I like that we're reusing the original door. So we got some new hinges here. I'm gonna put a light in here. We're gonna use this one that a fan says. It's got only lights on one side. We fear we don't need something super duper bright in here like them big double lights we had. See the wires? Yeah. Pull that through there. I like these because they have the switch built in. It just makes it easier for me to wire. I guess at some point in my life, I'm gonna have to start wiring this motorhome. Mm -hmm. I need to make this wall here. I need to make our seat top and finish out our cabinets. So this we're gonna make out of OSB. It's gonna hold up my kids. That'll work, right? Yep. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Hey, you want to try it out, Ralphie? I just want to sit on it. Oh, that was my toe. Yep. <laughs> that was my toe. How swankosaurus is that, huh? It's great. It's swanky. We'll have to put some notches in there for your seat belts and all that. What do you got? Oh, you got moves? Yes. Yes. Are you helping Joshy? Yes. Are you got your pipe? Yes. And your croc charm? Yes. I didn't even have to cut the length. It was 48 inches. Right there. We're gonna cut it short today. It only ended up being about a half a day because we got church stuff to go to. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Can you shoe wop it? She's, che she's cheesing this oh, whole time. Cheesing. Okay. You want to shoe wop it? Shoe wop. Shoe. Shoe wop. Final day. Can you believe we worked on this thing nine days? Isn't that crazy? If you're wondering where mom is, she's like a an old diesel tractor with low compression on cold mornings. It's hard to get her started, you know? I was all out of ether, but she should be out here pretty soon, I believe. Today's it. It's the last day to work on this thing. Let's see what we can get done. Woo woo. Woo. I feel like this is like the 10,000th thing I've measured this week. Oh God, oh Lord, oh, oh, oh God. I'm just gonna get right there. I'm gonna try to come up with some sort of trim for all these corners to make it look a little better. But it's time to make the front of some of these cabinets. I think that's gonna make a big difference in how this place looks. Why are you being a little late? <laughs> Don't you worry about me. Don't you worry about me, okay? You worry about you. I just said you were like a diesel engine with low compression. <laughs> and I was all out of starting fluid this morning. You got your lemons. Yes, is this yes. your lemon decoration? This is my design for the inside. Hashtag farmhouse. And a fan sent me this. They did? Yes. What a deal. Is that about your Are you doing your makeup? <laughs> Y'all need to stop. I'll go back inside, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop cooking for y'all.
Make sure you're cutting it correctly. <laughs> okay, so now I've just got to figure out what kind of openings I want to cut out in this. Because this is not going to have like cabinet doors on it. It's going to be open storage, some sort of like baskets and put things in it. I want to outline around every stud behind here, except for me. <laughs> and that'll give us an idea of our options. Yeah, I'm thinking kind of like a rounded edge like that. I like it. Like that right there? You okay. like the rounded yeah. edges? Yeah, it's good. I think it looks better than squared off, yeah. you know? I've decided to paint this. I'm not sure if I'm going to cover it with material. I keep going back and forth about it. So, for sure I'm going to paint it. We're going to pull this down and do our paneling on the back edge in the floor and set it back up here. It's juking off this side. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> I'm leaving on a mission with my measuring tape to find some baskets and some cushions. Me and Squeeze will be back. Helps with the heat. We burn the stove. on my right here i've got a mark here it's, here listen i'm not very good with my aim they okay? don't even like come on are you it sure about a, that it was an accident i beg the dipper this in theory should sit right down here sit right there you got this dad i believe in you there you go now i can't reach a drill Probably really don't have to do this, but I feel like it's gonna help it hold together, you know? Probably needs all the help it can get. Mom's gonna be so excited when she gets back. Totally. She may want to renew our vows after this. Oh Lord. Hmm. Wow. How beautiful. I notched that, so go Where? over the top with it. You can't oh. get it? <laughs> I'm almost, I'm almost. You got this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. How now we gotta put our little ring around it. It's oh, yeah. beautiful, Dad. I'm proud of you. A sense of achievement. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to notch one side or the other. I'll probably notch this right side here. Yeah. All right, let's cut this before Mom gets back. A touch up paint. Like it never even happened. She'll never know. <laughs> so it came with these screws that you attach this surround piece with. You got it, Ralph? You good? You good? <laughs> you better got Just it. One more screw. Nothing to worry about. Okay, okay, get it. Here, here, let's trade it. Oh. 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 I should know more about what a convection microwave means, but well, it looks like an oven in there. It's got like a heating coil thing. You ready? I guess it's like an oven and a microwave. I don't it's know. Let us know in the comments. The thing at the top heats the air, and then it gets replaced with air, and then it heats all of it. Thanks, Bill Nye. For looking at this microwave, I am starving to death. Are you saying that anytime you see a microwave, you think of your mother? Is that what you're saying? Oh, kind of. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, coming SOS, off. SOS. Hey, Dad, look at me. <laughs> whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and paint in this while Mom's gone. As I went down the river to pray. We're back. Got I love it. it. Yeah, it great. Ooh. Great choice, Mom. Look, I got lids. Wow. I'm so proud of you. Hopefully it'll work. I know I should have went with you. Exactly. Oh, it's the nail bender 9000 over here. Are you struggling? No, I'm not struggling at all. Oh, yes, gosh. you are. <laughs> I need my details. Here, yeah. I 
help. All right, she got her in there good. Yeah. There you go. You I cheated. Look, you make it look very good. Oh. It's going to be perfect. Awesome. Man. Wow. It can't go any farther than that. That's good. So it can't like slide off in the middle of Never Never Land. I actually think this chase is the right width already, right? That'd be incredible. Wow. Does it look like I built a microwave? It kind of does Hold look it. like you built a microwave. Yeah. Ow. Always put your hand in the microwave. That way you know if it's working or not. Yeah. In theory, that should fit right there. Like that. It needs to go back, Ralph. Your way, Ryan. The only back way. <laughs> look at us go. We're just too fancy anymore, aren't we? Can you hurry up? I have been hurting <laughs> up for nine days now. It takes forever. I'm not a carpenter, okay? Get you a little Davy cake. Oh, Lord. Put her in overdrive. Go in, come in, like a knife. Scooter, are you in the rags again? What are you doing? There you go. Look at me go. This is going to be an interference fit here. You got to get behind the paneling line. You kind of got to go both at the same time here, I think. There you go. There she is. Did you break another one? My brand new staple gun. How can it already be going bad? Are you putting baskets in while I'm hammering? <laughs> We're ready that? for this. We're ready to get this done. Well, that looks pretty good, don't it? That's what it is. I'm glad to have those pretty much done. We're probably going to put paneling underneath the bottom of them or paint them, one of the two. She did most all the flooring and then got to where every piece is going to have to be cut. So I got to get on that as well. Y'all yeah. don't want to see me cutting all this floor. You are right in the way. Hey, He's there. just asleep. Good one. Yeah, he helped. This is the exact same dimensions as the one the other side. Watch out, Jamal. So this will be our seat top here. And now we're gonna make our bed right here. I think this seat's gonna be mine. He is quivering like a weave. He's okay. Come in the motor home. Come on. Five feet four inches. So Wawa, you're not allowed to get any taller. You got the seat too, so you can get a little bit taller. He's after it. I'm sure of it. Wawa's getting her other seat painted. And her pants looks like as well. What? Oh yeah, that's my accent. What did I tell you? <laughs> you were supposed to catch it, bro. We gotta notch it for a couple different things here. I'll probably have to notch it one more time when we put up the beam for the bunk bed. My jigsaw is messing up the power cord. So I have to wrap it up around here for it to work. So it's not working. There we go. You wore everything out this week, including us. Yeah. Give it the test, Ralphie. That's the real test. Can it hold Ralphie up? Are you trying to hold my hand, Jermaine? He's gonna kill you is what he's gonna do. Yeah, he wants to kill me. <laughs> gonna hold all of us. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm getting attacked. There's a hole at the bottom of the sea. There's a hole at the bottom of the sea. You remember that I saved your life, right? You do remember that and that I feed you. He doesn't remember and that. And how you live in the house. Because right now, you're just trying to kill me. <laughs> We're going to be at three and three quarters of an inch wide. Maybe this will be easier to lock in. Probably snap it off, huh? Yeah. It's kind of chipping it with that cutter. Give her a ninja chop. I don't want a ninja chop it and break it. You know I was a uh, yellow belt in Taekwondo. Oh, Lord. <laughs> don't you start that nonsense. Uh, I really kind of hate to bring up my martial arts record, but, you know, it is what it is. Well, if I would have known you could have done have this. been using the saw, I might could have done this earlier. Really? Okay. I just cut the block in half. Okay. You notice we have some lights in here. I believe 
believe Ralphie has slinked out with Squeezy. That's what happens when you hang around the wrong people. The wrong crowd, guys. Don't the hang out with the wrong crowd. crowd. Hang out. We're at the home stretch now, Wawa. We are. I had to cut around everything to make this one fit in here. It's a booger. We got flooring. Yay. So mom's working on the flooring on the steps now that the cuts are a little less challenging. I am going to start doing paneling on the side of this. And before I do that, I got to take the whole thing out again because we forgot to put our little plastic outside storage container. It used to be a double propane tank holder, but now it's just going to be probably it, the old poop chute hose. Can it come in from that side? No, it's, it, has to, it has to come in from this other side. Thankfully, it's all just screwed in, so it shouldn't be too hard to take in and out. See, you guys are all worried. That wasn't too bad. I was nervous. Be. They've been planning a way around doing that for <laughs> all day. I'm like, it'll take five seconds. That's funny. You do need some sort of outside storage. There's some things you just don't want to be stored inside. This is too long. I was wondering oh, about that. Lord. It's too long to fit underneath that. I thought this thing was equal on both sides. I think it's the insulation. No, it's not that. It's it way for We're going to have to cut some of this lip off of it. It's going to be shallower. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I ended up cutting four inches off of it. Now we're good. I see you. <laughs> now what are you gonna do? Let go. <laughs> Let go. That'll be our finger cleaner. Ew! Not the finger cleaner. Oh my gosh, I was traumatized from that video. Uh touchdown i'm gonna make a block off plate where our refrigerator vent used to be which is now going to be under our bed it's got a radius around the edges so this seems to be pretty close to the size oh. it's like a press fit but it fits put a little bead of silicone around this so we don't have any water coming through or anything this stuff stinks a lot worse than that window sealer does. It's very gross smelling. Mom got all our flooring in here, even got the threshold up. I'm gonna put the paneling now on the sides of this. 17 and three of them fours. Yep. This piece here is longer than eight feet. We're gonna make it out of two pieces. Man, it's just almost long enough. You've done a good job cleaning this, please. Oh, Did you see that? I saw it, man. Let's see it one more time. The squeezy thumb. Boom! Ooh, locked oh, and loaded. Look, it's even worse from this angle. Ooh. Oh, it almost reaches. I guess I could have broke it in the middle, but I'd rather it break back there. Nobody will see that. Yeah. Except for y'all. Don't tell nobody. This feels like a big step. It does. I feel accomplished again. I'm going to go ahead and put the back piece of paneling up. I kind of put it off because I'm going to have to put my tail light wiring through it. I also probably need to run a 12 volt power source to this side because I'm planning on putting like charging ports in here for a phone, cameras or whatever we have going. We'll put some channels in this foam and run our wiring as well for our tail lights. Ralphie, the top measurement is 86 and a half. Don't worry, Ralphie got us all measured out here. <laughs> hey! He did that to me every time. It is an accident. You're what? It is not an accident, and You're you know it. Head, did you write your measurements down right, Ralphie? I think so. Oh, yeah. Now we just gotta put wires behind it. Yeah. So what I ended up buying was a whole trailer brake wiring kit. I figured that would have all the wires I would need to do my tail lights. So these wires are gonna have to go all the way up to the front of the van. And I could probably drop them down to the floor and we may end up doing some of that, but I know we're gonna have to have some lights that go from side to side, like our brake lights, tail lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them into this uh, wall. What are you doing, Jamu? No, no. 
Let's not do that. I've also got these wires right here. This is like a 12 gauge wire because I'm going to have an outside light by the door and we're also putting our charging port. So this will be 12 volt power and ground supply. Pull that all the way to the door because we may need power all the way up there. So <laughs> look at him right through the middle of it. Like of course. Dingleberry. Oh, dang it. Okay, there's our little track. So the wifey reminded me that we may want to have a 110 plug-in on this side so we can power things outside the door, you know. I'm going to run wires for a plug-in over here. This is 12 gauge THHN wire. So we got a off-white, a green, and a black for our three wires for our plug-ins or whatever we want to run. We got all our wires tucked away in here. We'll probably get this done and remember the wire that we didn't put in here. Didn't put in here that we'll need later. I think I got what I need. Like it never even happened. Look at our mess now. It, I can't even show it to him. I'm so embarrassed. I talked about how I wasn't gonna throw stuff down. No, I did it anyway. You have Come made on. the worst mess. Come on, let's go see what. Look, Rocky. Doing. Look at our new house. He's just worried about these animal crackers I brought with me. Let's see. Ooh, this is going to be the end of it right here. <laughs> we have ran out of time. It's about to be dark outside. You know, Rocky goes to bed at dark no matter what time zone it is. He doesn't do daylight savings time. So, guys, we worked ourselves to death this week. Nine days of work. I didn't get everything done. I got to get done. Obviously, I still got some paneling to put up over here and up here. I got to do my bunk bed. I got to do my kitchen table over here. Cabinet. Yeah, I got to put the cabinet doors on this. Got to get our refrigerator. But man, we got so much done. They look so good. I didn't expect it to get all this done this week. We got more done than I thought we would get done this week. We got to wire it all. I got to wire in the converter. Man, we have got so much done. It's crazy. You like it, Squeeze? Yes. Can we get a rating out of you? One out of 10? Probably a nine. A nine. Whoa! Wow. Man, it's got so much more room than it had before. Yes. Because before there was like a full kitchen in here. There was a, a shower. There was a shower and everything. There's a lot more space now. I love the flooring and stuff. Looks I great. I, love the I plan to eventually put up some trim on some of these corners that are kind of rough. I need to find some sort of like white trim that's um, inexpensive. We'll use that word. He prefers to be fed from the hand. Oh yeah, he doesn't like it on the ground. Yeah, he will almost walk past food on the ground if he has to lean <laughs> down and get it. Here's he will a, not lower himself to do that. Here's a funny fact. For the probably the first three or four months of his life, he would not walk on the grass. That's right, he wouldn't walk, he didn't like grass either. No. I don't even know if we showed him after I sat the toilet in there. It's not final installed yet. Uh, obviously, you got a toilet sitting in there. You got a mirror yeah, kind of hanging out? A mirror, that's from the old, it's from this. Oh, we saved it, yeah. okay. We tried to save what we could, but man, it was rough. I like your baskets you got. That looks good in there. Yeah. We gotta test out our water system, but we don't even have the water pump wired in. On our oven, food maker. Yeah, food maker 9000 <laughs> here. See, it's pretty solid in there. Yeah. Lunchables. We won't leave you out here. Here's your animal crackers. <laughs> man, they're quick on the animal crackers. They love them. It's our favorite. There you go. Well, we couldn't pop our RC Cola in that fancy swank No, we couldn't. Home. I just remember we did the same thing last time with the old motorhome. We appreciate you guys watching this video series on this motorhome. We plan to obviously fix the things we talked about in there and get it where it's completely uh, drivable. Are you cold? Yes. Yeah. We really want to do a big trip in it, but we want to get it right first, you know, or at least mostly right. Drink your RC Colas, eat your bourbon barbecue bangers, and what do we do with it? Pour one out for your homies. Exactly. Let's see, future videos you might see. We bought a couple vehicles. And if you watch the live stream, you already know what they are. Or if you're a member. And, oh, on my neck. I'm going to stand up now. We're going to try to get some cars running soon. And we also are going to get back on this motorhome. We got mechanical things we got to do as well. We're going to do an engine and transmission swap. Listen, I, you have to get them first. We got to do the plumbing and get... The Fairmont Futura big block car actually running and going. We need to do the brakes and put some hoops and casings on the Galaxy Station Wagon. We gotta do that. So that's the kind of stuff you expect coming up, uh, unless my plans change. We're also are starting to work on our building, so that's a big deal. 
It's supposed to be here tomorrow. Starting to work on that. But well, thank you to everybody that watched our videos. All of our members, all of our people that do super thanks. We really appreciate that. Everybody that comments and likes the video, all those kind of things help us. Even subscribers. I never mentioned the subscribers, but I kind of feel like a lot of YouTubers overdo the hey like and subscribe so that's why i don't do it you can buy our merchandise down below if you click on it it'll take you to springs website and you can order t-shirts hoodies coffee mugs leggings what else we got jeggings i don't know i don't know if it's jeggings jackets t-shirts we ought to have like a date kit like a rc colas and vainas and a dozen roses or something that's basically the most romantic thing i can think of but we will see you guys in the next video you can check out our second channel at i thought they weren't listening you can check us out on Instagram. Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at SleeperDude88. Whoa, squeeze, you dropped it. A tragedy. <laughs> hey, shout out to Marcus at the picture show. You know who you are. We met him on our day off this week, and he was a really nice guy and helped us out at the picture show. We appreciate you helping us out. So shout out to Marcus and his family. They watched the channel. There were some fans we met yeah. on our day off. Big thank you to Rec Pro for helping us out with this video. We literally probably could not have done it without them. If you use code SLEEPERDUDE, I believe it's all caps, SLEEPERDUDE, you can get 5% off your order at Rec Pro. So go to their website. Right here, right here. It's right there. It's right there. We better get Vainy or RC Cole. Here you go, here. Vainy. She's licking it off the ground already. I'm sorry. She, look how calm she is today. That was really good. Cool. Such a good pig. She is a good pig today. Look. This guy he's is licking, loving you. He's licking everything he's on loving my body. You tonight. Okay, he's licking my <laughs> elbows, my fingers. Hey, buddy. Hey, Rocky Jr. You want to give me a hug? You gotta come in the shop more often, huh? So get out there, get you a cheap RV, remodel it. It's something to do with the family. Look what we did over our spring break. Can you believe it? We got all that done. I can't believe on it. On our spring break, it's, it's incredible. incredible. We got the biggest hurdle overcome i believe i think you're yeah. right i hope i think so yeah. oh my gosh <laughs> Man, i thought he flexed out there for I a lagged, second i lagged i lagged i was like bye. bye i didn't realize you were up here johnny he's doing good huh and your other babies are doing good my other babies are good i'm getting a new baby new baby sometime this week we're having a baby no, we're not. oh <laughs> You're such a genius! <laughs>